Hey guys, Preston here from Chrome Conceal. And in this video, basically, I just want to do a quick rundown on some local SEO. Uh, basically, a quick case study. I have a client, a criminal lawyer client, that I actually want to expose to you guys, which is probably not the smartest thing to do, exposing my clients live on my own channel and showing everybody, but you know what? I want to prove to you guys that I kind of know what I'm doing and talking about. So I'm going to do it. So anyways, I'm actually going to be, what I want to talk to you about in this video is basically the strategies that I use to rank this client. I'm just going to break down in simple terms how I rank this client really, really easy and simple um, in the criminal lawyer niche, which is pretty competitive no matter where you are. Lawyer niches are never easy, um, but it was easy, but I'm going to show you how. And then basically why I think local SEO is probably the easiest way to make, you know, get yourself to, you know, five figures a month because this client is a criminal lawyer. His rankings were dead simple in a not so big of a city, but his rankings were dead simple and he pays me over a thousand bucks a month. So I want you to think about that for a second. I want you to think about how, how simple this is, how simple this is for the amount of money that you're making. So we're actually gonna dive into my laptop. I'm gonna break this down to you. I'm gonna break down you know, where he's ranking, how I got the rankings, what types of links I used, and basically you know, why local SEO is probably the easiest way to, to basically you know, live a free life, quit your job, and make money online passively. Not 100% passive because you gotta deal with clients sometimes, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna head over into my laptop, I'm gonna dive into this case study and show you hey guys, guys how I Preston rank Preston here, and now we are going over into a Chrome Conceal video where I'm gonna do basically a, a simple case study on how I ranked my criminal lawyer client. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down why, why you should be doing local SEO, how easy local SEO is, and how profitable and how much money you can be making doing it. And then I'm gonna break down exactly how I ranked him, how I ranked this criminal lawyer, and basically I'm gonna show you step by step exactly what I did. So we're just gonna dive right into things. So why local SEO? Why should you be doing local SEO? Some of you already do, but some of you probably don't. Well, most rankings are just dead simple. They're easy. Most rankings are very, very simple. Um, as long as you're applying my strategies that I teach, you're gonna get you know rankings very, very easily. Um, it's the fastest way to make money and be in profit. Local SEO is by far the fastest way online to make money and be in profit. And there's no upfront cost to you. You always get paid first. So you find the client and you get paid. So that's why I recommend you get into the local SEO. Um, but needless to say, let's, uh, let's continue on and show you how I ranked this client. So I'm gonna show you the client first. We're gonna head over. Um, it's, pretty, it's probably not the smartest thing for me to be showing off clients' websites. But you know what? I want to prove to you guys because some of you you like to say that you know Preston doesn't have any clients, so blah blah blah. But um, we're gonna type in uh, in this city Vernon, uh, Vernon criminal lawyer, and we all know criminal law is never easy, no matter where. Now the city is not the largest city, but it's we're still going after the lawyer niche. So Vernon criminal lawyer. And when I got this client, he was on page four, I think. So we have Vernon Criminal Lawyer, we type it in, and you'll notice uh, the first guy in the Google Maps right here is my client, Julian uh, Vanderwall, uh, Criminal Law. So he shows up first, and basically, uh, I think he shows up right here as well, right, yeah, right here. So basically, he shows up first in the maps and he shows up second on the organic. And then I think if you type in, and okay, so you don't believe me. If you don't believe me that this is my client, we're actually going to go over to the website here. And I'm just going to kind of show you the proof. So you can see I'm actually logged in. You can see right here, I could log out right now. Now I'm not going to, but right here, criminal lawyer Vernon BC, I am logged into the dashboard. So. There's the proof for all you people that don't want to believe me. And so here's the website. And I'm going to go over exactly what we did to rank him. So we used an EMD. As you can tell, criminal lawyer Vernon BC. So we used an EMD. Um, 
I didn't do that on purpose. That's just the domain that he bought. He thought it would help. I don't like EMDs, but we used an EMD. And basically, the EMD had the keyword in it. So, so when we were doing the on-page optimization, I used the home page. Now, obviously, I don't have, uh, I can't put a bunch of content on here. Um, we ha I had to work with what I was given, and this is what I was given. So all I did was I went in and I changed the the meta title. And if you notice that if we type in if we type in um, Vernon criminal lawyer, if you look at the meta title, the meta title is actually Vernon criminal defense attorney. So rather than saying criminal lawyer, I used attorney, and rather than just saying criminal lawyer, I said defense attorney. So I kind of used an LSI keyword in the meta title because we already have the keyword showing up in the URL, right? So that way we're hitting the best of both worlds. So um, I think he even shows up if we type in um, Vernon Drug Lawyer. I'm not sure, not 100% sure. There you go. Yeah, he shows up first for uh, Drug Lawyer as well, um, which gets him business. And I'm pretty sure he shows up for DUI Lawyer and Drug Charge Lawyer etc. So did a pretty good job with this website. So as you can see, if we go to the website, we used an EMD, I used LSI keywords for the meta title and description, because we already had the, the um, keywords in the, the URL. And then um, the obviously, there's the only content I had to work with was was this, which was his about me. Uh, and these little three slides right here. So had very little content to work with on the homepage, but still ranked like gangbusters using the meta title and the, the backlink strategy I used. So uh, let's take a look. We already took a look. So now that's all I did for the on-page optimization. I basically went in. He was on about page four and five. I went in, changed the meta titles, um, and basically I think I linked out onto one of his pages to authority sites, a, a criminal authority site, but that's about all I did for the on page. Then we go on to the off page. What did I do for off page? So basically for the off page, all I did was I built about 30 citations. Simple as that. I built about 30 citations and probably, probably even less than that. So citations are very important for local because it's basically, that's what your, um, that's what your NAP is. So your your name, your name, your uh, address, and phone number. And basically, when you're building citations, you're proving to Google that you're a real business. And so that's how you get ranked. It's one of the most important ranking factors for getting in the snack pack. So um, the next thing that I did is I built about five PBN links. These PBNs were not strong at all. They're pretty dinky PBNs. Um, but I built about five PBN links and that was about it. So where did I get the, uh, I'll kind of get into how I did some of this stuff in just a second. But after that, I built social signals to the website. Basically I got social signals going to the website, making sure that it looked like it was a legit website that people were talking about it. And that's basically all I did. That's it. That's literally all I did. SEO is that simple. Um, I built 30 citations, sent about five PBN links, and built some social signals. Now, it took about three months to rank because I slowly dripped. I did the citations right away, and then I slowly dripped the PBN links. So he actually ranked in the, in the, um, in the Google Maps really fast because of the citations, and then the organic took a little bit longer because I dripped the PBN links and the social signals. But it took about three months in total. And now I'm just going to kind of show you what I did to do the citations and the PBN links, etc. So I use a tool called SERPT. Um, it's actually closed to the public right now, but I want to show you what it can do. Um, so for citations, basically all I did was um, if you come into this tool, it has like this tool is crazy. It has a keyword research, domain research. Um, it has a like a, a scraper in it. It has a site management tool, rank tracker, client acquisition, and a bunch of other tools. Um, but basically all I did was I used, uh, if under the client acquisition, I used the citation scanner. Uh, and basically I scanned to see what citations he already had built. I don't think he, I think he only had like two citations. 
so then I figured out what citations the competition had and I basically just copied the top guys um, and made a little bit more using the citation scanner here and I went out and built a bunch of citations and I only made about 30 and that got me into the snack pack and then what I did is I got about five PBN links so um, I know some of you might use a tool called Register Compass, but this tool has a bunch of things just like Register Compass. So if you come to Domain Research, I went to Age Domain Finder and basically came in here and you have the ability to check for, this is where you can do, uh, it's just like Register Compass. You pick your Moz rank, uh, Majestic uh, stats, your PR, the age of domain, the price you want, when it's expiring and then you pick your uh, TLD. And then it, it pulls all the, the auctions from all of these GoDaddy, Namejet, Snap Names, uh, Dynadot, Cedo, Droplist, Phoenix. And so I went, I think I found about three domains with the auction here. Um, and I kept my stats pretty low. The stats were, I went with like a TrustFlow 10, 10 referring domains, pretty, pretty simple stuff. Um, and I was able to rank that client. And then I found a couple with the expired domain scraper that they have in this tool. So that's all I did. And then they also have, uh, for the social signals, all I did was come to this tool here. And right here they have a social exchanger. Um, done for you, social exchanger. And basically with the social exchanger is you have the ability to get social signals. You, you, you get social signals and you uh, basically exchange social signals with other community members. So that's how I got my social signals. So I, I pretty much just used that one tool to do this whole, uh, you know, rank my one client. And <coughs> if you're wondering what this tool is, it's called SERPED. Um, you can learn more about it. Uh, it basically has a bunch of tools in it, like like literally every single SEO tool you could probably want. If you want to learn more about that, go below this video, but that's not the case. Um, you can check that out below this video, but right now that's how I ranked my client's website. Those are the steps that I use. So the on page was dead simple and so was the off page. And that's what I want you to realize because this client pays me some pretty good coin and you know, he's on the first page of Google and I'm probably never going to touch his website again literally probably won't have to touch his website again and and he's paying me you know over a thousand bucks a month so pretty dead simple rankings but that's all local is it's it's pretty easy to rank in local and imagine if it was a different niche it would probably be much easier criminal law is not the easiest but i'm just showing you what's possible so that was the strategies i used um i hope you enjoyed this video what you need to do, if you're looking for uh, some more client getting strategies, make sure to take a look around um, on the blog as I have, I think I have a couple posts on how to go and get clients. So make sure you check that out and uh, keep an eye out for my future videos.